Hey guys, hi, Pyron here with another Model Kit review. This time on one of my favorite gyms, the Gym Custom from 0083 Stardust Memory. This right here is basically the mass production type of the NT1 Gundam Alex. Mass produced, downgraded to be to be you know more mass produced types. And in the end result, we got the Gym Custom. But with that out of the way, let's go with everything the Gym Custom comes with. And now here's everything the Gym Custom comes with. Starting off. We got its Gym Custom Shield, which is basically a modified version of the Gym Command Shield, as you see right here. I say modified version just because it's um, in the Gym Custom's color, so I'm pretty sure it added these little bits right here. Because I don't remember these being on the Gym Custom, or not on the Gym Custom, the uh, Gym Command Shield. I don't have the high grade of it, but I do have the Gym Frame of it, and I do not remember these being on there. I might be eh, misremembering wrong, but might be that. Then we have the bullpup submachine gun, or, or regular machine gun, of the gym custom right here. Nicely detailed right here. Currently right now it's still attached to the uh, it's uh, trigger hand right there, which is another accessory right there that it has. See right there, detail work for this thing is pretty nice. Although compared to um, other guns who usually aren't as detailed, especially with older kids. Then it comes with one, be one, hand one beam saber handle right here. Comes with two uh, beam saber effects, which is a good thing, especially with model kits, usually don't get that many mod uh, lately, or in some kits, usually don't come with beam saber, so it's a good to have them, and I did have to find these, because I had to go back and find a, uh, the manual one, or somewhere, to reference, uh, which of these beam sabers belong, because I, as you know of me, I have a box load of beam sabers, and I was trying to figure out which one of these belonged to my gym custom, and I had to go look around and do some uh, of the manuals, and voila, it was the pink ones. The only thing that I do not have, but I had to borrow another, my UC uh, extra hand that I have, I had to borrow a right uh, closed fist hand, or hand manipulator, because I cannot find the one that belonged to my gym custom. So for the meantime, I just borrowed another manipulator hand uh, from one of my other grunt units, I'm pretty sure. All the roll, it's still the same thing. The only difference between this one and the regular Gym Custom one is that this one's in gray and this one's in white. So what's it called? It's still the same hand, but it's still the same back plate. The only difference is uh, what's it called? One's in white color, the other one's like in dark grayish. But it's still the same hand, so you have a closed one. And then, yeah, that's pretty much it. Oh, and the Gym Custom also comes with an open manipulate hand, which I kind of do hate, and then it comes with another left trigger hand holding for the beam savers, but you know what, that's fine. Now with that out of the way, let's go with the articulation for the gym custom. Now starting off with the articulation, let's go with the head. It's able to spin 360, no problem at all, right there. It's able to move his head back and forth. You see right there, pretty nicely designed. I really do love this, I really do love the head. That is sculpted really nice. Out of, like legit, out of all the gyms and all that, the gyms, Jagans and Jastas and everything else, the gym custom just, just looks so good. It's going from its left arm, able to spin no problem at all. Shoulder can move up and down, no problem at all. And it's one of those kits, and this is the one thing I do love about UC kits, that uh, some of them actually do have, and some do, some don't have these double jointed jo uh, joints right here. Which makes it more better in posability. So you're bend one way, and then you're able to bend the other way for double jointedness, so no problem at all. A 10 can spin around with no problem. As this is, this is still older, this still the older, what's called uh, high grades for UC kits. There's no bending out the joints. I mean, you can slightly a little bit, but just that's a wiggle wiggle. I could spin around side to side, no problem at all. As this is still, again, older joints, it's still going to be on ball joints, so... Can do is as far as you're gonna go with splits without so trying to break the kit. It's able to go flip its hand all the way up, no problem at all. It can only go this way far back for its legs because it's it's blocked by its butt flap. It's able to bend, go for the knee. It's able to bend all the way, but that's as far as it goes. Then we we'll go with the feet. It would have been pretty nice. It's actually able to kick pretty well because the leg has kind of like this kind of jointedness right here where it's able to flip out a little bit more. That's pretty nice. It's able to go back and forth because it is on a ball joint on the leg, so the swivel, swivel is pretty nice. It would spin the leg no problem at all. And overall, 
Jim Custom's a pretty nice kit. It may be an older kit, and I know some people have some gripes against older kits, but it's still a nice, sturdy kit overall. It, it's fabulous. It's design, design, sculpting, and everything else still looks well compared to the detail, especially with a lot of other high-grade, older, high-grade UC kits. Jim Custom holds out for it. Pretty nice, pretty well. But with that out of the way, this is the review for the Gym Custom. Overall, a fairly nice model kit. Uh, despite its age and all that, it still holds up pretty well. It's still a nice, sturdy model kit. Uh, what's it called? Posability is pretty nice. Uh, it may not be able to do like the fantastic posability as like other modern kits, but still able to do uh, free, uh, pretty mount, uh, free range um, parts and whatnot. Its arms are still double jointed. Yes, it still has ball joints and legs, but it's still sturdy itself. It's like one of those. One thing I love about the gym, I like a lot about the gyms, especially the gym custom, it's a very nice sturdy kit. Detail work is nice. The sculpting's good. Uh, it's parts. It's parts for the gym for having for the gym. It's perfectly nice. Uh, and yeah, I would recommend if you see a gym custom, I would recommend getting it. It is a great model kit. But with that out of the way, this is Pyro Arden signing out, and I'll see you guys on the next one.